<laughs> Look, here comes the love of my life. Hello everyone, my name is Dawn. Welcome to Van Itty Bitty. This has been here for two days. Want to see why? There we go. I did it. For those of you who don't know, I had a 2021 Ford Transit Connect that I bought about four or five months ago. I tried making it work to convert it into a micro camper, but it was simply too small. If you've been watching my channel, you know for the last couple of weeks, I have been looking at late model, uh, high top vans, driving different uh, mid roofs and different lengths and different makes and models. Trying to find a good late model van that I could trade in the Ford on. I always said from the beginning I was going to do that as soon as I could find one. When looking in the last couple of weeks for a van, I started noticing new vans in the ads. That is really good news. So I called about 10 different dealers on new car ads and they couldn't find them on their lot. They were all like, oops, sorry, they must be in transit. Take about a month to get here. Like, uh, but I did find one. Here it is. Now I got this van two days ago, night before last. It took me all day to negotiate, do all the paperwork and do everything to buy the van. I got it from a dealer in Jacksonville. They delivered it free. So I bought it sight unseen. It's a 20. 23 Ram Promaster 1500 low roof 118 wheelbase. I'll put that here. That was an awful lot to say. <laughs> um, I wanted the 118 wheelbase. I'll explain why in a little while. Uh, but let me show you the van. When they delivered it, I was exhausted. By the time they delivered it, we'd been negotiating all day, filling out paperwork, going back and forth in about 900 texts. So yesterday was the full day that I had the van. I hadn't even driven it yet. I did drive it around the block, but I gotta tell you, I was so overwhelmed with an indescribable feeling. Oh yeah, that was joy. <laughs> but it wasn't just that. It was all these ideas going through my head about what I can do that I can't do in the connect and also being completely derailed on a track that I'd been on for four months which was converting the connect I was almost done I just had to put the water system in which is easy peasy so I didn't expect that feeling of being completely knocked off course and how that would affect me but this is a very happy thing I just needed a day to kind of adjust and just recover from the purchase and the, all the excitement. Let me show you the van. You might be surprised that I got a low roof when I was saying that I needed something I could stand up in. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I was test driving the high roofs and the mid roofs and they were just too tall for me. I needed something small and something manageable. Believe it or not, with the low roof base, I can still stand up. And I'll show you that in a moment. There's something special with the 118 wheelbase that the other length ProMaster vans don't have. Now I could be talking out my ass here, so confirm this if it's something that's important to you. But the 118 wheelbase, from what I heard watching reviews on YouTube, so it must be true, that they have a special gear in the transmission. I think it's the final gear. It gives you much better gas mileage. So not only is it giving you better gas mileage because it's lighter and shorter than the other wheelbases, but it has a special gear in the transmission. So on the highway, you're getting better mileage. As you can see, it's a short, stubby little van. It has eight feet in cargo space. It has 68 inches from the floor to the roof, which gives five foot, six inches height in the ceiling, which means I can stand up in it. So if you're shorter than five, six, you can also stand up in this van. While this is the smallest full-size cargo van that you can buy, it has the highest low roof 
that you can buy. So it's like this was designed just for me. I still have my itty bitty van, but I can stand up in it. Let me show you the cargo area first, because that's all we really care about, isn't it? That light up there is super bright. Like lights up the whole place. Let me show you with the cargo doors open. As you can see, these doors open all the way. Stop just short of hitting the van, which is really nice. I put the window covering across the front windshield and kind of hobbled up the side ones <laughs> from the ones I made from the Connect. It has a nice square box cargo area. What's really great about this is I'm getting two foot wider, almost two foot longer, and a foot and a half taller than the connect. This gives me room for everything including my trike fully assembled. I am just over the moon about this van. It is so perfect and I'm so so happy. Now you might think that I'm starting again at ground zero after all that with the Ford Transit Connect but I'm really not. I still have everything that I did for the Ford Transit that I plan to put in here. I'm not gonna do a professional build because I can't afford $37,000. And I'm not gonna to try to do it myself because I really don't have the skill, the strength, or the tools to do it properly. So for now, for now, I'm still doing a no build build. As soon as I put something on the floor, I have some rubber mats on my back porch I just so happen to have um, that I'm going to bring out in my driveway, scrub them down, and put some kind of flooring down here to protect this from being scratched. I'm not going to put in a real floor. If I can get away with it, not right now. So I'll put the rubber mat down and the carpet over it. But these mats I have are heavy duty. I, had the, I used them in my dog training school for ring mats and they've been sitting on my back porch. You all know how I love to use stuff I already have and I don't want to spend $300 on a mat. I just don't. So it may not be pretty but my carpet will go over it and we'll see, we'll see how that goes. My mind is just reeling with ideas. Now you guys know what I love about this van if you've been watching my videos. Besides the fact that I can stand up, I can get all-terrain tires. <laughs> and a swivel seat. You know that makes me happy. And as you can see, you can get to the back from the front and vice versa. And that is what I one of the things I really really love about this. There's so many things I will be able to do that I couldn't do on the Connect. It's still an itty bitty van. Its name is Vanity 2. This is Vanity and this is the Biddy. <laughs> so we're still Vanity Biddy. So the cargo area is, is 8 feet. It is 5 feet, 6 inches tall. Now side to side it depends. Back here I believe it's 75 inches between the wheel wells I think is um, between the wheel wells I think it's 56 or 52 and then up at the front I believe it's 70 inches as you can see I've only got one sliding door and there is no step up on that sliding door you have full floor there there is a step up here I believe this van is still low enough that I can load my Liberty trike this van is near perfect for me. I love this van. All right, so I'm walking, 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 walking. Ooh. 
Floor's uneven. Let's do that again. <laughs> so as you can see, there's the roof. Walking. Walking. Even this light here, which is pretty thick, comes down a little bit from the rail. But I can even walk under that without hitting my head. Which means <laughs> that I'll be able to put a ceiling in that comes down to at least here and still be able to walk. Same with the floor. <laughs> so, I get almost a full hand. All right, four fingers, a little more than four fingers. Between my head, between my head and the roof. The frame rails, I can get, frame rails I can get three fingers. So I can still stand in this low roof van. <laughs> I say near perfect because nothing is ever perfect. You can't expect anything to be perfect. Here's the problem with this van. I can't get up in it. <laughs> I can get up in it from here, I just can't get down. And I can't get up in it from the side. And I can't get up in it from the back. <laughs> or out. So I have to use this step stool. As you can see, I have a rope attached to it. This isn't going to be the rope I use. It's just there because it was handy. But so when I get up in it, I have to take the rope with me and pull the step stool up into the van so I can leave, which is absolutely ridiculous. This is not the van's fault. This is my knee's fault. Yes, ridiculous. Then when I want to get out, I have to attempt to get it flat. So that's super fun. I don't know if this is something the, the dealer or manufacturer forgot and left in the van or if it comes standard. I think it's a tire compressor, air compressor thingy. Can somebody tell me what this is? I mean, it looks, but you know, it's got the tire thingy. What is this? It's called Fix and Go? This seems sus to me. <laughs> now they look at it. If you have a ProMaster, especially a 2023, um, can you tell me if this is standard? <laughs> All right. But yeah, I really like the cockpit in this. And when you drive it, it feels like you're driving a semi. You're sitting way up high and the way the, the wheel is and everything. It does, it feels like you're driving a semi, yet this fits in a regular parking spot. When I say this came bare bones, I mean bare bones. I do not see anywhere to adjust the mirrors. I actually think this has hand adjustable mirrors. It's not on the door. I could be missing it. I've looked all over for it. I believe that, that if you have them, they're here so that somebody can't lean in and you know, open your door. I think I saw that in a video, but I don't see them. Of course you have your 12 volt and your USBs there. It's really bare bones, but look at this. I'm not complaining, believe me. I'm so in seriously in love with this van. Look at the overhead. There is no overhead factory shelf. Every video review I watched had a factory shelf. Where is it? <laughs> they also had side uh, storage underneath the one that's there, right here. Big pocket storage. That's not there. I don't know if this is typical or not, but under the seats, nothing. Another thing that this van doesn't have is any kind of grab bars to get in, which is why I'm finding it so difficult. I have put up my carabiner. I don't fully trust this though. But I mean, in the back, nothing. There's nothing to grab onto. 
Now in the front, you have two grab handles. See? So there's actually four grab handles up front and none in the back. So put that together with no step, which I'm glad it doesn't have a step. It makes my floor wider, but it just makes it really hard for me to be able to get in the van. So I'm already talking to a van builder, uh, the ones who did my Max Air fan, about putting in a swivel seat base for me, uh, putting in the, the rear windows, and also I'm wanting to get a rear view mirror camera. The kind that stays on all the time while you're driving so you can see what's behind you, just like looking out your windows, only better, because oftentimes you have contents in the van that obstruct your view out the back window. Um, I know I did in the Connect. So if you have a tire on a rack back there or contents in your van, you may not be able to see with a regular rear view mi mirror. But they make them where it takes, they have the ones that take up the whole rear view, not just like a little square on it and that stay on while you're driving. I think that's also a good option. I may do both because visibility is something that concerns me. So I'm talking to them about that right now. They're looking into cameras for me. I've already got a pricing on the windows and the swivel seat. Of course, being able to get up front is awesome. So it might seem like I'm starting at square one with an empty cargo van again. But I'm really not. I have everything from my Connect that I'm still going to use. Um, the only reason I haven't put anything in yet is, like I said, yesterday I was recovering. And today I want to wash those rubber mats. I don't want to put anything in here until I get the floor protected. Uh, I don't plan on doing the ceiling and the walls and the floor right now. Um, I just want to get it back to where I was with the Connect, which was almost ready to leave. So... I'm going to wash those rubber mats, cut them, tape them together, whatever I have to do, put the rug on, and then put stuff back in here. The bed's coming back in, the toilet's coming back in. Um, the kitchen cabinet, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use. Yeah. Uh, because it's too small for this van. If I'm standing up, it's way too low. So, uh, what I have found, though... And I don't know how this is going to look, but it fits. If I take the back off it, it fits over the wheel well. And if you remember, I got that one free because the top was a little damaged in shipment. So if I buy another one, I can have two covers for the wheel wells, still have place inside those cupboards to put laundry or just whatever else you don't want seen. Shut the doors. And in between the wheel wells and those two cabinets is a perfect size to put the bed. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's like, I'm serious, like this van was designed for me. But it'll be easy enough to find a kitchen cabinet now that I can stand up and use a regular counter size, counter height cabinet. Um, so that's going to be fun. Uh, so I'm not really starting back at ground zero, but it is a little disconcerting to see me back with an empty cargo van again. Um, I do know I'm not going to have a Max Air fan put in. Uh, right after I had that one put in, uh, I started seeing everything on the forums about people having problems, and they're like, oh yeah, they break after a few months, after a year, but all you got to do is rebuild the motor. Uh, no, I'm not rebuilding someone, no. And also because of the rust that was on the Ford because of that air fan installation, um, I'm convinced that what it was because when I was washing the Ford, getting ready to trade it in, I looked up on the roof and there was rust flecks everywhere. Some big spots of like a bunch of like thousands of flecks. Um, again, none of this was permeating up from the van or into the van, you could tell it was sitting on top of the paint. It would not wash off or come off until I used the rust remover that the guys that installed it recommended and then it came right off. 
no damage to the paint, no damage to the clear coat, nothing. But these were little metal flecks that rusted and eventually would have eaten through the paint if I hadn't found them, I would think, because isn't that what rust does? Um, and again, I don't blame the builder for this. Um, he was more than happy to let me bring my van in and they would make it right. But I didn't want to drive that far. That was on me, not them. They're great. In fact, they're who I am trusting. Obviously, I trust them because they'll be putting in my windows in this van. Um, we're going to have a little talk about metal flakes, though, and frames. But they're also doing this with a seat, like I said. So my first order of business here is to wash off those mats, get them in here, get what furniture I can put back in here especially the toilet. Like I said, I have most everything. Don't get discouraged with me. Um, I am so, so happy with this van. Again, it is the smallest full-size van you can buy, and it's got the highest low roof you can buy. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of that. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the ProMasters. There's a lot that don't like the Transits, too, though, probably more. Um, and even more that don't like the Sprinters, uh, and probably even more that don't like the Nissans. Um, I liked the Nissans personally. The Fords, I mean, you got to admit they have everything. <laughs> they have everything, but their low roof is way too low. Their medium roof is way too high, and I swore I'd never buy another Ford. So, um, you know, you just got to understand that this is a personal choice for everyone, whatever works best for them. There are many people, even if they can stand up in here, who wouldn't want the low roof because they want that expanse above their heads. They want to be able to put big side cabinets up. Um, I'm still, I'm going to be able to put side cabinets up. So um, it was just an example, but it's a personal choice for everyone on what works best for them. Uh, and lucky for us there are many makes and models and lengths and heights that we can choose from uh, many people make it work in a Ford Transit Connect I could not they're perfectly happy in theirs so it's just whatever works for you and this van makes me so happy I feel it in my soul and I am already in love with it so I hope you share my joy and that you will follow along on this journey please hit the like button please comment below and uh, if you would like to please subscribe thank you for watching we'll see you next time